Godot 4.2, the next version of Godot. As always, Godot keeps updating and updating and in this beta release, they focus in fixing some errors from the previous releases and even adding some small features. So if you want to know the latest Godot news about this new version, Godot 4.2 Beta 3, stay tuned, let's start. So this is the post that you are gonna find in the description down below. As you can see, well, this is just one more beta of the 4.2 version. And well, as you can see here, notably, this third beta improves support for 3D projects made with Godot 4.1 when migrating them to Godot 4.2. We are now introducing a helpful dialogue when you first open a pre-existing project, it lets you choose to upgrade and reset all the meshes in your project to make them compatible with Godot 4.2. As you can see, all the improvements uh, are, I mean, all the new things are just improvements of the existing features. As you can see, we only have 74 improvements in this case, we usually have around 100 improvements and as you can see, they are mostly fakes, 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 as you can see. So it isn't a version in which we have like a bunch of new stuff. But well, for example, something new that I can see here is the download section because this didn't used to be like this. But well, um, in this case, let's just jump to the downloads. In this case, I'm gonna download the standard version for Windows. Oh, well, as you can see, the, the download started. It just took a couple of seconds. And now we here will be able to, as you can see, see for example, that this is the, the application and this is just the console, okay? So let's open the application right here. And well, <clears throat> as you can see, in just a couple of seconds, we have our Godot opened. Um, okay, we can create here a new project. As you can see, the interface is exactly the same as it used to be in the previous uh, version. So let's just here create a new uh, project. For example, like this, I'm gonna create a new folder, the renderer, and I'm gonna leave it as default. And I'm gonna click here, create an edit. And firstly, in previous versions, yes, this continues happening. As you can see, when we zoom in and zoom out in the 3D environment, and this green line here starts glitching, but as soon as we move a little bit the camera, as you can see, that glitch stops happening. And also in the output, <clears throat> we have a warning here about the blender, um, but well, it's not a big deal. However, I believe that uh, when we just open a project, if we have here a warning, it's not so, so good. It's a, lit, a little bit annoying, but well, <laughs> let's just uh, skip that. I'm going to go to the 2D environment and I'm going to create here a very basic scene with one node that I'm going to be naming main. I'm going to save this thing. Okay. And okay, right here, I'm going to be adding one sprite. That is gonna be my icon. Okay, I'm gonna move it right here and I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and move it one more time and move it right here so that we have a sequence of three icons as you can see. Then I'm gonna go here to my main node and I'm gonna attach a new empty script so that I have no methods, no comments, no anything. Okay. And what I'm gonna be doing here is quite simple, but before doing so, something very incredible about this version. Firstly, um, we are now able to actually color our um, folders, I believe. So let's uh, here create a new folder and name it, for example, scenes. I'm and I'm gonna be creating other folder named scripts, for example. And here we can see a button set folder color and well, we can actually change these things. That's quite amazing. And also we can create some regions in our code. So this means that for example, let's say that I have my process function here and I wanna make it a region. So we just select here the code, right click and here create code region or the shortcut Alt R. And well, as you can see here, this thing is created. I have actually modified here a little bit the colors as you can see but this can be easily modified under the editor settings 
and here um, this was in the color section I think theme was it no it was um, let me check here in the theme but in the text editor and well here for example folded gold region as you can see it's like a pink color so I'm gonna leave it as default um, gold folding color this is gonna be default and well this, this one should be the default colors okay and of course you can type your regions yourself so for example I'm gonna create here the ready function and I'm gonna write here region uh, ready for example and here I'm gonna write pass and here I'm gonna end the region okay as you can see as soon as I put there the end I can start folding my region well these are features that uh, have been here for uh, since I believe the uh, first beta of this version I have a complete video on that in the channel but well this is just a general view about the amazing features of these new betas because as I told you in this new beta there isn't much to actually check so uh, let's just write some code in my process what I'm gonna be doing is to detect if I'm pressing the key one uh, is key pressed and if I'm pressing the one I'm gonna change my first icon color uh, to yellow for example okay then I'm gonna check if I'm pressing the two key two I'm gonna change its color to um, the second icon color I mean to for example blue okay and uh, finally I'm gonna check if I'm pressing the three is key press key three and in this case I'm gonna change it to red for example and this is gonna be my third icon of course and this is gonna be equal to color red like this okay and also in my ready function I'm gonna print something for example subscribe for the latest without news okay for example so maybe you should subscribe right now okay so now um, let's actually click here play I'm gonna select my current scene as my main one let's wait a couple of seconds until everything is loaded okay and when I press here the one well first as you can see I have here my message and I also have here a, a warning because I have to prefix it this like this okay but well if I press one this one is colored uh, two and three and everything is working just fine we can make this warning disappear as you can see by just prefixing the Delta with an underscore and if we play again as you can see everything should be now perfectly fine 10 out of 10 as we have no warnings no anything finally I'm also gonna be checking the web editor of this beta 3 as you can see I have here the version selected I'm gonna start the good editor and wait a couple of seconds okay I'm gonna be here creating a new project here I can't modify the renderer okay so let's just create the game for some we are here recent this is not loading as you can see so I'm gonna be going back uh, entering again this web editor and let's see if now it works as you can see it's taking quite a lot here to load I don't know why okay now I restart in my browser and it works at least the first uh, screen okay and I'm gonna be opening the the same project and let's see if now it loads okay unfortunately at least for me after waiting here a couple of minutes the web editor for good old 42 beta 3 is not working so let me know in the comments if if the web editor actually loads for you in your device in your browser okay i hope you have enjoyed this video a lot if so please consider subscribing to the channel right now so that you you'll be the first one in knowing the latest good old news this is all for today's video i hope we can see each other in the next one See you in the next one and bye bye.